Hi guys, I hope you're well. As some of you might know, I'm going to be traveling next week to Nigeria. Um, I'm attending the Abuja Fashion Week and I'm just going to be doing a bit of traveling there as well. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a what's in my travel bag, what's in my hand luggage video. Um, I actually wanted to film this video all the way in the summer, but I was super, super busy so I didn't get the chance to do that even though I really wanted to. So I'm going to do it this time because I have some time on my hand. If you are attending the Abuja Fashion Week, um, I want you guys to keep watching this video till the end because I've got some information for you guys on a meet and greet I'm having. I'm gonna get straight into the video. Um, I want to begin by saying if you've got any advice for me please let me know. Um, so far I'm only thinking of taking this bag with me. It's this hand luggage. Just looks like this. It looks huge on camera but it's not actually that big. Um, so I'm thinking of taking this hand luggage with me. Um, I'm thinking also to have a very small handbag, so it's something that I can put around my body just for important things like my passport, my phone, and little things like that that I will need, papers and stuff. I'm probably gonna go and check online or go to TK Maxx because they usually have some really cute little nude bags that I really probably will, will like. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do. But so far I've got everything inside here, so I'm gonna just open it up and show you guys. So this is what it's looking like right now. As you can see, not very packed. First of all, I am gonna be having my camera with me, but obviously I'm filming with my camera right now, so it's not in here. I did wanna buy a um, vlogging camera, but I just didn't get the chance to um, beforehand, so I'm just gonna have to use this camera to vlog, and I'm probably gonna be using my phone as well. I have my laptop top in here this little pocket and this is what it's looking like this is my macbook pro and it's very vital to hold your laptop in your hand luggage because um it can easily get stolen in your suitcase and also just in case your suitcase gets lost this will be gone too so i always put my gadgets and my stuff stuff like this important things in my hand luggage because you really don't want to lose that i've also got my laptop charger in this little pocket also very important I do tend to go on my laptop while I'm traveling um, and just like edit and stuff like that on Emirates Airlines you can actually get Wi-Fi on air in air so uh, yeah I'm gonna be traveling through Emirates so I'll probably be doing some things on there checking emails or whatever phone plug my charger is gonna be here too but it's not here at the moment um, but I've got my phone plug um, which is also really important to charging my phone the most important thing is my passport I've got my visa all done and dusted um, so I'm all ready to go to Nigeria um, I've also got my <coughs> travel um, vaccination records these are quite important if you're going to certain places in the world they sometimes require you to carry um, evidence that you've had some vaccinations um, I've had the yellow fever vaccination so this is my certificate for that and I've also had the I don't know what they're called I've had two other vaccinations but I'm not sure what they're called but they're all written here so um, if anybody asks me all in here. I'm also going to be carrying like a little plastic wallet with all my papers and stuff so um, hotel book bookings and um, boarding passes and everything so that's all going to be with these papers right next I have a book so if I get bored on plane because usually I don't really watch the movies I get really bored and um, I'll probably do some reading this is an awesome book I got recently and it's called educating Muslim women and it's basically the story of uh, this woman called Nana Asma'u and she's basically she was um, a very influential Muslim woman in the 18th slash 19th century in West Africa next I have my um, notebook and this is basically where I put all my notes, my doodles, my plans to do what to, what I want to do, where I want to go, uh, if I have any ideas or something, something to film, something to do, something to write, I write it all down. I have some really really soft, soft socks. Now these are really important when you're going, when you're traveling on the airplane because I feel like I get really cold, my feet get cold um, because of the air conditioning and everything in there. And uh, so it's really nice to take some socks just to keep warm. I have deodorant. Deodorant is really important for me because I just like to smell fresh all the time. And this is like my favorite deodorant ever in the entire world. Honestly, if you start using this, you will never go back. When I w use this, I literally smell fresh until like two days after. It's that good. So I would definitely recommend it. It's like five pounds from Superdrug or Boots. But it's so good. I'm actually gonna have to buy another one before I leave. Next I have my portable charger and I got this from eBay like a couple months back, probably at the beginning of the year and I really like it however the power is starting to get weaker like I think it just 
charges my phone about once and a half. Usually before that I used to charge about twice or more. So yeah, I have this because it's really important for me when I'm traveling. Next, I have my glasses. I'm gonna be wearing my glasses while I'm traveling. I'm not gonna be wearing my contact lenses because contact lenses um, can be really uncomfortable while traveling because of the air conditioning and everything and, they, and the eyes get really, really dry. So I'm gonna be wearing my glasses. I bought them from glassesdirect.com. I'm gonna start off with my whole beauty healthcare, everything in here, really, really important stuff in here. So, I'm gonna open it up. First thing I have is my anti-malaria tablets. Now, these are very, very, very important um, because um, I have to be taking these before I leave uh, the UK and uh, while I'm traveling and every day while i'm there if you guys follow me on on snapchat i did ask you guys what you which malaria tablets i should get and i ended up getting malarone just because it has the least um it has basically no side effects and i really don't want to be sick while i'm traveling um i've got ibuprofen which i always need every now and then just in case i get tired or headachey or whatever Next I've got travel sickness tablets. I've actually never used these before. Um, these are from Lloyd's and um, it, they're good for nausea and sickness. Um, and you basically take one before we travel just to prevent getting sick and feeling nauseous. I don't really get, s I don't really vomit but I sometimes can get nauseous and it really irritates me. Um, next I've got Imodium and Imodium is basically for diarrhea and um, my doctor actually recommended these for me because um, when I went to Lebanon I had a huge issue with diarrhea. It was horrible um i was literally sick for the whole time there and even when i came back for like for like a month after i was still sick so um these are apparently really good and they relieve diarrhea in less than an hour and they melt in your mouth tablets so i've got these just in case anything happens i've got contact lenses um one for each eye uh, if you want to know what what my prescription is i'm minus 4.50 on this eye and I'm minus 2.75 on this eye so I have really bad eyesight guys I know some of you don't know I wear contact lenses most of the time just before I land I'm going to be putting on a little bit of makeup and put my contact lenses in just so I look a little bit more human antiviral hand foam very very handy for when you're traveling and if you go into certain areas that may have viruses I've got some jungle formula mosquito repellent so it's really important for me as well because I'm trying to avoid mosquitoes at all costs Eye drops, very important as well because um, I, I realise that in hot areas, in hot countries, wearing contact lenses can be really irritating. The eyes get dry really quickly, especially when there's air conditioning, it really, really dries out the eyes. So these are just to put in my eyes whenever I need. I've got the Prismology body cream this is a travel size i love prismology by the way if you follow me on snapchat you would have seen a couple of days ago or a week ago i bought like a latest in beauty beauty box and um i had a sample of this the foot cream which is in here as well and oh my god it smells like heaven this is the um body lotion and it's got bergamot and citrus and it smells beauty Oh. The face mask, which I will probably be using in air, um, and this is actually a, a travel size of the Glam Glow um, clearing treatment, which is supposed to be really nice. This is the Philosophy face cream, and it's called Hope in a Jar. I'm going to be taking this with me just to keep my face moisturized. It's really important to keep your face moisturized in air because it gets dry quickly. Another thing to help with my moisture is the Cordelli um, face spray. Beauty Elixir and I've heard a lot of good things about this. I used to use the Mario Badescu one, the rose water one and I loved it but I finished it and I kind of got sick of the whole rose water, rose water smell so I try and my friend uses this and she swears by it so I'm gonna take this with me and use it like for setting my makeup and for just refreshing my face and everything while I'm away and also when I'm traveling. This is my favorite hand cream and it's by Champ Champney, I don't know, they sell it at Boots and this is the hand and nail cream and it's a 24ml uh, package so obviously when you're traveling you need to know that you cannot take liquids or creams that are under uh, that are over 100ml so everything here I have is way under 100ml. I have a face oil and this is the nude um, rescue oil, this also came in my latest in beauty box. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I'm looking forward to using it and keeping my skin all nice and oiled up and moisturised. Prismology um, foot cream sample. I told you about this. It smells like heaven. Guys, I cannot. I cannot. Ooh, I cannot tell you guys. 
I swear every time I film a video I'm always dropping something. I can't tell you guys how amazing this smells. Every time I smell it I'm like someone needs to make a perfume out of this scent. But um, it's a foot cream but I'm not going to be using it as a foot cream. I'll probably be using it all over my body and my feet but it smells so good. Um, I've also got a lip cream. This is the Dr. Lip uh, Miracle Balm and it's 100% natural cream. Apparently it's really good for the lips. I have used it before. It's really thick but it's very moisturising and really feels really nice on the lips. I've got the Be Good Under Eye uh, cream, a little sample, great for traveling. Got my black opium uh, YSL perfume, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite winter perfume. It's just so rich, and I've got it in a 30 ml bottle, so it's really light and easy to travel with, and it's under 100 ml. All right, next, um, I've got some makeup here. I've got very light bits of makeup. Um, can you see? It's like right at the bottom of the bag, um, because basically, I, I did I mention that I'm not really gonna be wearing makeup while I travel I'm not gonna be wearing makeup to the airport I'm just going to um, wear makeup just before I land in Nigeria I've got this sample size of the fit me foundation by Maybelline which is you guys know my favorite drugstore foundation and I have this in the shade 250 I've got the NARS um, creamy concealer in ginger and custard but I'm probably just gonna be taking custard because I mean ginger because custard is too light even ginger is too light I, I these days I'm not really into wearing concealer under my eyes that's too light I just want a concealer that's the same shade as my face studio fix powder a little brush something for my eyebrows just the Rimmel pencil just because before I move on I just wanted to show you guys this is the kind of plastic bag I would take my liquids in but I'm probably gonna get a bigger one this one's too small to fit all of my liquids but it's basically a sealable um, plastic bag. It has to be sealable, has to be see-through, has to be plastic, just like this. Um, so I'm gonna be looking for a bigger one to take with me soon. And then last but not least, well actually it's not last, I've got a couple of things left. <laughs> but um, last but not least with makeup, um, I'm taking these palettes um, in here with me just because they have some things that I wouldn't need to take with me in the makeup bag. For example, they've got bronzer, highlighter, blush, eyeshadows. Um, these, this is actually especially for traveling. It's called Bon Voyage palette. I'll be taking face wipes with me. However, I'm not going to be taking these. These are just the ones I have now because I haven't bought the face wipes yet. But these I'm going to be taking in my suitcase because I'm just in case I go somewhere and I need wipes for any reason, face, body, whatever. So wipes are really important. These are just baby wipes because they're cheap and there's like. It comes with like 56 pieces of wipe but I'm gonna be taking actual face wipes um, in my bag in this hand luggage just in case I do wear a bit of makeup before I go and I take I will take it off on the plane I've got my watch by um, Daniel Wellington which is like my favorite accessory at the moment I think watches are such a nice and simple and basic and just it's just a really nice accessory to have this one is my favorite one at the moment and it's I think it's called Sheffield and it's just black and simple and I have a 15% discount for you guys so if you go on in the description box I'll have all the details there or I'll write it here to the discount code um, so definitely check that out finally guys I have my sunglasses which I got from Sana Yousafzai she had like a I think it was the summer box um, I have these sunglasses just to wear when I come out because it's going to be hot in Nigeria. Just before I leave, I wanted to tell, let you know that I'm going to be having a meet and greet in Abuja. Um, if you want more details and if you want to reserve a place, please email this email address right here on the screen. And I will also put it in the description box. And I'll also put the website for Abuja Fashion Week in the description box just in case you want to know more information. And also just... Um, other people's contact details if you want to ask them questions as well. Okay, um, I hope you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon, bye!